This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. The following program was transcribed earlier from Mutual for presentation to the West Coast at this more favorable time. evil lurks in the hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, Mutual Don Lee brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcibly to old and young alike that crime does not pay. Are you interested in engineering, electronics, ship design, travel, and a steady job? If you are a young man between the ages of 17 and 22, you may qualify for a four-year college education and a career of public service in the United States Coast Guard. This oldest branch of the seagoing services maintains an academy at New London, Connecticut, for the professional training of its future officers. Applicants selected for the Coast Guard Academy by nationwide examinations begin their training each year late in July. Applications for this year's convening class must be postmarked not later than April 1st, and entrance examinations are held on May 8th. For complete information, write to the superintendent, U.S. Coast Guard Academy, New London, Connecticut, or visit your nearest Coast Guard recruiting station today. But now, the shadow. <laughs> The shadow who aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. His hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Vane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, The White Witchman of the Bayaki. <laughs> Mine is pretty big one, Jeff. You sure this is a lot of jokes? According to the note, it is. Uh, for information about importance, come to my rooming house. One ten more steps. Mm, all right. That's what you did, Mike. That's what he said. Uh, second floor, third door to the left. And he found himself an old friend. I hope it doesn't stick out. Hadn't the biggest idea. Well, see, one can try and get this to do. Yes. Must be a leaky stove in this old dive somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Lane, Clint. Come in. Come in. Thank you. Go ahead, Doctor. Uh, thank you. You don't seem to recognize me. Oh, no, I, I'm afraid not. No, no, I don't. I'm not surprised. Ten years in an insane asylum changes one. Madam Miss Lane, the odor in here offends you. Well, no, but I smell gas escaping. I know. The gas jets on my stove are open. You fool. You want to cramp here, Mr. Cranston. I've got a gun. Yeah? Well, what do you want with us? Revenge. Not as mad as I thought. Last I found a way to escape, to get out of that madhouse you put me in. I put you. Margot, this White Witchman of the Vikings. Somebody's going to strike a match. Yes, Miss Lane. White Witchman of the Vikings is going to blow all four of us to kingdom come. All oh, four? Yes, Miss Lane. You, me, the Cranston, and the Shadow. Shadow? Yes, Mr. Cranston. I know your secret. I know you are the Shadow. Then there are other secrets you know. How we found you. And your island. How we discovered the secret of your magic power. Yes, how did you find out that? Well, to uh, go back to the beginning, uh, one day a letter came from an artist friend of ours, Jay McDonald, saying he'd found an island paradise in the South Pacific where at last he could paint. My island. Uh, yes, yes, but, um, 
Sending over the letter stopped and months passed before we, we received another. How did he reach you? His letter addressed to me was found drifting in an old wooden crate. It said, Lamont, save me. I was wrong. This is no paradise. It's a living, burning hell on earth. So you came searching for him, huh? But how did you persuade that Captain Ballard to bring you across? Oh, yes, of course, Lamont. Captain Ballard, you remember? Yes. He took us across in that leaky old no boat. We found no boat ever left the mainland to visit your secret isle. Men turned pale when we mentioned its name. I held the key to magic powers no man ever dreamed existed. Ballard agreed to take us only when we said we'd get to Leviathan. We had to buy a boat and sail it ourselves. Finally, we started with chart and maps and finally found the nightmare called the Bayou. Yes, that's it, of course. I never forget it. What a fool I was. I remember thinking as we approached the island at sundown, how could anything evil exist in such glorious beauty? You know, I can still hear the motor of the boat and the water flash around the uh, There, there it is. According to the chart, that should be Leviathan there. There, straight ahead. Captain Ballard, are you sure you didn't take my artist friend across? No, no, I've never been here before. No other boat has dared touch these evil shores. There's hell on that island. And if you're wise, you'll let me head back for the mainland. Well, how do you know this terror if no one has ever dared touch Leviathan? Ah, uh, we've heard stories. What sort of stories? Dead men and women left unburied who walk in the jungle at night. What about this white witchman you mentioned, the one who rules the place? He has powers only the devil can grant. They say he even controls the elements, the wind, the seas, and the rain. Come on, look. The shore is crowded and natives all painted and... Yes. And... Uh, looks like they expected us. They couldn't know we were coming. No one knew. Yes, but look at that white man. Where? Look, look. He's in his face. He's covered with wall paint, but his arms are white. Yes. And the mouth is a skull hanging around his neck. Look on a chain of bones. It's the reception committee. And they don't look any too well pleased. Stay! Stay in quiet! The visitors I have told you about have arrived. How did you know we were to arrive? White witch man knows many things. Turn. Go back now. We've come to find a friend. Go! So before I call down the fury with my power... Come on back with me, both of you. I've come to find my artist friend, and no power can stop me now. Power of the white witch man can stop heaven and earth. Look. Show you. Sun, sink in the sea. Wind, blow. Woo! Waves, water, rise. Come on! Listen to that wind! Stand and look at the water! Go quickly before it's too late. I told you we're staying. Run, my people. Take shelter. Your white witch man calls on the furies to drive the white strangers from our isle. Rise, wind, and blow. Down, rain. Split open the sky. Lucky thing I found this cave for us and started a fire. Yes, it certainly is. Come on, let's go back to Captain Beck. There is some evil power here. That man is the devil. Or a very shrewd, clever old fake. Well, it's night now. Come back with me before the living dead begin to walk. Who are these living dead, Captain Ballard? The royal family of Leviathan. When the white witchmen took over, the natives rebelled and sent them to their graves in a blazing canoe. Laola, the princess, in bright beads and long black braids. Apari, her father, and Malu, the young brother. All three perished, but they come back at night to roam the island, the living dead. Have they been seen? Yes, with their dead faces scarred and burned. What's that? At night along the beach and in the jungle, they beat the jungle drums to keep the living dead away. Come back to me before you go mad. No. We're staying. I've just seen something in the light of the fire. What is it, Donald? Look here. This oil painting painted on the wall of the cave. That's MacDonald's work. I'd know it anywhere. Yes, Margot. MacDonald is or has been on this island. <laughs> well, Lamont, Ballard and his boat, Con, we're really trapped here. 
We're completely in a white witchman's power. Not if he can't find us for a while. Besides, he probably thinks we left in the mail boat with Ballard. You know, this is certain in the Donald's painting. It's an oil, isn't it? Mm. And it's painted on solid stone. Yes. Wait. It's not solid stone, Margot. It's giving a little. It's like a stone door. It is a stone door, Lamont. Leading into a long, dark passageway. I'm getting it open. Uh, quick, darling, get my gun and flashlight. Bring them here. There you are. Oh, it's awfully cold. Oh, it's one step behind it. Try it. I won't open from this side. Oh, we're trapped, all right, aren't we? Like a tomb. Wait a minute. It's a trail, Margot. The painting is our clue. We've got to go on now. Ballard, you've come back. I was waiting. I had to come back and warn you. They didn't leave with me, the white man and woman. They're still on this island. They know the artist never left. They saw his painting on the wall of the cave. You took them in there. I had to save my own life in the storm. There was nowhere else. Then we must get rid of them. They never can go back now. Uh, they tell. They bring the police on us. They want to know what happened to the artist. Huh? Well, now show them that. They shall die the same terrible, lingering death I devised for their artist friend. <laughs> Look, there's a light at last. Yes, sir. Other end of this passageway is open. There's someone standing in the open doorway. Look, you can see the reflection in the flickering candlelight. The woman. She's heard it. She's turning. Look at them. Two long black braids, dressed in feathers and beads. The monster's hour. The living dead. The princess who died in the blazing canoe. Yes. The dead walk again. There's a father. The dead boy above. They are all scarred and burned up. Now you have seen us. You too shall die. Buried alive with us in our living tomb. Now you join the living dead. Margo, quickly. They're closing out the door. Get that for it, darling. <laughs> darling, we're trapped. Where are we? Maybe it's hot, I guess. Oh, I can't move. I... Oh, I see my arms and legs are bound on them. Yes, sir. White Witchman found us last night after you fainted in that stone prison. Tied us up and brought us here. Must have been in the room. I'm cautious, sir. He told us today at noon he'd show us where McDonald's came in. Here's what I found you. What do you suppose he needs to do with us now? I don't know, darling, but I do know one thing. That man Ballard is working with him. He told the witch man we were still on the island? Yes. He must have told him we were coming. Delaying us a day and pretending his motor had gone dead. It must have been he. No one else knew. Hey! Stand quiet, jungle drum! White witch man has come for you. Wait, put the white fools on their feet. Where are you taking us? Look across there to that clump of jungle trees. Tall trees. The sky black above them. What is that above the trees? Vultures. Birds of prey. Birds of death. Take them up and carry them. Hold our white prisoners. Come on. What is tied to that tree? There's enough left for you to recognize your friend. McDonald. Oh, no. McDonald's father. Oh. Yes, your friend, you white idiot. And now you both have seen you shall die like him. Bring the rope. But what are you trying to do? I each of you to a tree and leave you. With no company but the burning sun and the vultures waiting to claim your heart. Oh, no, you can't. The one stop him. Please stop him. And this scream. Cry out. Please. There'll be no one to hear you but each other. And the sun 
and awaiting vultures. <laughs> We'll return to the shadow in just a moment. Friends, during the war, millions of Americans bought bonds through the payroll savings plan. The payroll savings plan is still being operated for your convenience. Labor leaders and labor unions throughout the country have endorsed the payroll savings plan. Management has likewise endorsed the plan. And your government, with the cooperation of labor and management, has continued to sponsor the payroll savings plan as the easiest, most convenient way to help you provide for your own future security. The payroll savings plan is the easy way to save, because the amount of money you authorize from your pay envelope is applied directly to the purchase of your bonds. If you're not now enrolled in the payroll savings plan at your company, enroll now. Plan for your own future security. Buy and hold U.S. savings bonds through the payroll savings plan. Following his fiendish plan, the evil white witchman of Lavaiki has had his natives find Lamont Cranston, Margot Lane, and tie them to jungle trees. There today, they've suffered in the hot, boiling sun. Now, as the evening falls, the strength is slowly heavy. Margot. Margot, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Has the sun affected my eyes? I see a woman standing there in the shadow. What? I... Oh, yes, I see. The flower all over. They've been dead. I guess they've come to claim my body. Out of those pieces. They do not mean to harm you. We save you. I save you with my father, Apahi, and brother, Malu. You're not dead. Are you? No, no. Apahi, oh, father, untie the man. Yes, our daughter. Our faces and bodies are scarred and burned, but we live. When they send us out to die in the burden canoe, they think we die, but we jump in the sea. Some of our people see us looking for food at night. We scare them. They believe we are living dead. And then they, they keep from us. We hide in a secret cave. If you try to get us a bow, why did you do that? We think you are enemies till we hear white witch man come get you, take you away. Margot, darling, you all right? Yes, yes, White witch man, our enemy. I was king here until he came. With his great magic power, he turned our people against us. What magic power says he, Laura? He rules the water, the wind, and the sun. In his hut, we see strange magic papers with magic writing. They give him his power. He makes the water quiet so my people catch many fish, dive, and find pearls. Pearls? What do they do with them? Give them to white witch men. In return, he warned them of storms, so they catch fish for food. Without fish, we die. He saved their lives when typhoon and big waves come. All that I could not tell them when I was a king. So that's his game. Pearls. Lola, suppose I broke this strange spell the white witchman has over your people and put you and your father and brother back in power again. But he has magic. Uh, jungle drums bad again. Yes. Come quick to secret cave. You take white girl with you. Hide her. I must go away. Yes. Lola, you've given me a clue to the secret of the white witchman's power. Oh, that rat, this motor... I knew I shouldn't have stayed on the island so late. It's getting dark. Ah, just my luck. Now to have it really go on the plane. Get out of the boat, fella. Uh, what's that? Who, who's talking? The voice of the shadow is ordering you ashore. Holy! Holy, is that you? Is this one of your tricks? No, Ballard. This is a new kind of magic. Oh, no. Something grab me. No. <laughs> You're drunk, Ballard. I'm not. I'm not. Some voice orders me out of my boat, and when I refuse, throws me out. That white man and woman are only enemies on this place. How could they play such the tricks? They're tied to trees. Are they where? What? Why, they're gone. Look, look, only they're gone. Yes. How'd they get away? Princess Laola, Apahi, and Malu. I told you to get rid of those three when we found they'd escaped from the canoe. It served my purpose to let them go on hiding here, roaming the island after dark. The natives thought they were living dead. 
They'll keep them fighting, subject to my will. But they saved the white people. Uh, we'll find them wherever they're hiding and kill them ourselves. And the white man and woman with them? This time we'll make sure. Make sure? How? Look across at old Camillo, the island volcano. Uh, she shall have human sacrifices tonight. They'll die in her bubbling, burning crater. <laughs> The rope burns on your arms. Feel better now? Yes, Darla. You've been very kind to me. If only white man come back soon. What are the drums doing now? The jungle beat of the hunter. They are on our trail. They found the mines and no escape. They do not know this secret case. No. Another passageway, remember? They found the white man in the end. Yes. Jungle drums come closer. Oh. Is there any other way out of this cave? Yes. Malu has dug a hole through the roof. Coming down the passageway, all right. The drums are much closer. They're at the door. Quick, Malu. Through the trap door in the roof. Yes, I go. Malu will see if it is safe. Ah! Malu! The natives are up there, too. They have broken open the door. Hey, where from? Uh, looks like we found him, all right. Far with the white man. He escaped from us again. Dallas. Then you are in there. <laughs> now what do we do? Find the white man? No. The sight of this white woman will bring him out of hiding. Prepare the funeral march to the volcano. The funeral march. Your funeral march. Yours, Laola. Yours, Apahi. And Malu, our prisoner outside. Tonight we know you die. We'll see you burn. Tonight we sacrifice you to the gods of fire in the volcano. <laughs> Father, right here. Help the procession. Take up the old man, Ballard. Put him on his feet. Aye. Father. Close enough now. Look down. See the red, angry bubbles of the red, hot mud inside old Camillo. Nothing can stop us now. We're at the mouth of the volcano. Quickly, take hold of the victim. Take them to the mouth of the inferno. Fire, God, they're hungry. Ready, throw the victims into the fiery pit. Save. Drop your hands from the white girl, from the royal family of Leviaki. The shadow warned you. Shadow. <laughs> what voice is speaking? The shadow. The voice of truth, truth and justice. The proof that you white witchmen are a fake. It's the magic again, Ole. Let's get out of here. I am ruler here. Throw the human sacrifices into the fire. Hey, leave this volcano. Or you shall see the fury of my magic that proves you have no more power here. The shadow speaks for the royal family. I am the magic they summon here. My magic is greater. Throw them into the flaming pit. Very well. I must destroy you. Rise, old Cameo. Volcano of the Isle. Listen, Ole. Something wrong. The volcano's angry. Rise, fire and brimstone. The shadow commands you rise. Bubble, burn. Boil over. <laughs> no, Ole. Look. Look, it's starting to up. The fiery mass is rising higher. Let you down to me, I shall die first. Save fire and brimstone. I command you to obey. Holy, holy, you're crazy. You've got no magic power. I have. I will stay the burning man. <laughs> Your magic is powerless, White Witchman, to stay the fury of the fire. Take the people to their boat, Laola. Put their livestock in your raft. Quickly to the water. Lead them, Laola. You are ruler now. <laughs> You were winner then. I shall win this time as the room fills up with gas. Somebody's going to strike that man. Wait. Tell us first, how did that painting of McDonald's get on the wall of that cave? That was his island prison when he guessed what you guessed. That I took the pearls from the natives and Ballard's boat took them away for sale. He tried to escape. I killed him. And he too guessed the secret of the strange charts hidden in your hut. What chart? Oh, you knew that, too. The secret of your power over wind and rain, the elements. Yes, Ole. That's why I went to the mainland that night. That's how I found out about the annual volcano eruption. 
That it would be more violent that night. Where did you go? To the government weather bureau covering the island region. To get what Ballard brought you. Modern man's magic, Ole. Advanced weather reports. Huh. You know my secret. And I know yours. You're the shadow. Our secret die now with us. Come on, stop him! The white witch man still is powerful. With this match I blow us all the kingdom come. <laughs> Just fine, I burned, darling, thank goodness. Oh. I thought it's safer to bring her to the hospital here for treatment. Are you all right? Yes, darling. But lucky we both escaped with our lives. Only our white witchman got the full force of the blast. What happened? He's dead, Marlo. He was standing right beside the stove. Yes, darling, the white witchman tried to burn us, and he tried to burn the royal family. Yet he was the one to die by fire. Shadow will return in just a moment. Every American who is interested in his own future can take steps to provide for that future. The United States Treasury Department has made that easy by continuing the sale of U.S. savings bonds, the same bonds you bought during the war, the same bonds that were once called war bonds and victory bonds. The best way to buy them is to enroll in the payroll savings plan. Then every payday, a regular portion of your pay will be applied to the purchase of your bonds. These bonds will pay back $4 at maturity for every $3 invested. They are a sure way to guarantee a brighter and happier future for yourself and for your family. Buy U.S. savings bonds regularly through the payroll savings plan and hold all of them that you buy till maturity. Now here's the shadow again. The Shadow Program is based on a story copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications. The characters, names, places, and plot are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again, next week, The Shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The Shadow knows. <laughs> Next week, same time, same station, Mutual Don Lee will bring you another strange and thrilling adventure in the shadow's daring battle against the forces of evil. Be sure to listen. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.